Hey there everybody, just thought I'd uh, throw another video out there, um, see what you guys think of another do-it-yourself project. What I went ahead and did is I went ahead and um, uh, consulted with my wife who's gotten into sewing recently and made myself a, a cobra buckle style belt. Now um, the cobra belts and the cobra buckles especially are becoming really popular, They're, you can see them in a whole bunch of movies. Um, especially lately, um, Avengers, Expendables, um, so on and so forth. The, the original Cobra buckle is designed by a company called Australpin. Um, I, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, but if I slide this over here, you can kind of check out their website, australpin.net. Um, these are the original designers and manufacturers of the Cobra quick release buckle. Um, they've got a bunch of different options, as you can see. Um, they've got ANSI certified NFPA models. They've got stainless steel knotted Cobra buckles. Um, they also got, in my previous video that I did, um, the polymer GT Cobra buckle, which is super exciting because that is completely polymer. There's no metal in that. Um, it is a little bit larger, um, but the buckle that I um, chose and... Um, decided to go with again is the same video that was in my or the, the same buckle that I reviewed previously it's the one inch cobra buckle I have that pulled up also if you don't want to order um, from the retail orders section of Australpin um, and choose your size and this and that you can go to Millspec Monkey which is another great place actually within the United States that you can order um, Cobra buckles from and accessories. This is if you go to millspecmonkey.com and go to the hardware do it yourself. Um, he's got a bunch of different stuff. If you go to their Australia Alpine Cobra buckle, he's actually got some really nice pictures here. Um, and that's that one right there is the exact buckle that I used. Um, it is a non adjustable, it is a fixed, a dual fixed, if you will. Um, you see this is a style of a dual, dual adjust, so you kind of got that um, like a cinch strap that you can use um, on most belts. That uh, And all these are, this one right here is a fixed, and that is an adjustable, fixed, adjustable, so on and so forth. Um, these are examples of the widths. Um, again, I got the smallest, the one inch in a goes perfectly on a one and a half inch lightweight duty belt. Um, shopping for and looking around for different Cobra belts um, and realizing their popularity, if you just do a quick Google search, um, one of the first things you notice is that all these ones are adjustable and then a lot of them are set up as riggers belts. They've got um, the, the biggest buckles, if not 1.5 inch, the 1.75 inch, or the 2 inch belt buckles. Um, they're really big, really heavy duty, and you got to, with the adjustable side, you have to take off, literally, you'd have to take off the buckle itself, the uh, male connection of the buckle, and weave that into your pants, and then once your pants are fully through your, through your belt loops, then put the buckle back on and then cinch it back up, as you can see with a lot of these two, with with Velcro, um, especially in the front. Like this one right here, this is a perfect example. If you weave that through, this is the adjustable side, and this is the fixed side. You have to weave that through because that's such a big buckle that you can't get that through normal belt loops. So you take all that apart, or just this velcro part here and you weave it through you put your mail back and back on and you velcro it back up um, I thought that would be enormous pain in the rear so I skipped all that the design that I went with um, I kind of incorporated something that I found with um, a cross tack belt who we'll also do um, from what I could find the most reasonably plight the most reasonably priced Cobra buckle belts and they do them in a variety of colors and stitching and um, seems like the best deal that I could find out there over months of research. Their base model starts at $69.99. 
um, compared to a lot of other companies that charge $120. Um, going back to what I did is I took a, a $9.99 military surplus belt and the buckle that I purchased, which was just over 20 or uh, $20 or so. And what I went ahead and did is I cut the old buckle off. That's a true spec or prop. Yeah, this one's the true spec belt. But this uh, buckle style, I never really liked to weave it back and forth and, and cinch it back through. And I cut these in it. And then I, I shoved it through and flattened it back out. And then on both ends, I'm sure if you could see this, on both ends, on the inside, this is an extra, extra large um, belt that I used. Um, folded it back in on itself to the, to the precise and the exact measurement that I wanted it to. I'm a 32 waist. Like I did this one at like uh, 33 and a half inches or 33 and three quarter inches. And what I went ahead and did is once I folded it back through and had my V and everything, um, when I cut my V, I used a soldering iron to instantly seal those um, ends from fraying. And then I made a uh, so, uh, pretty heavy duty with a very large needle um, sewing machine. I made three or four passes and two lines here and here. And then I did another one here and a smaller one in the middle here to to just get on the inside and kind of to hold that down on the on the very bottom i did instead of multiple passes up and down i did one single stitch all the way along the bottom which gives me an awesome little access pouch and this is on both sides this is something that um, is available on some of the cobra belts um, normally their their secret hidden compartment or their hidden pouch is along the back but the way I just saw an opportunity here to kind of make cool little um, an additional feature to my belt and, and make two pockets that I can slip stuff into whether it be cash or um, something that you could fold down really really small I mean this is just a receipt for an example but um, on your person is completely hidden and this is again complete do-it-yourself idea um, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, I really this is my new everyday belt everyday carry belt it holds everything I need it to and um, again comparatively to uh, all those other belts that you just saw that I was showing you if you just do a quick Google image search on um, Cobra belts or Cobra buckles um, you get a lot of heavy heavy duty reinforced I and mean, this is um, a 511 example of an extremely heavy duty reinforced with a plastic liner in here um, I guess what they call a gun belt um, it's designed to, to hold up and, and to, to not have too much flex or to have too much give to, to be carrying a, a big big load but if, if you're doing a simple you know inside the waistband um, some small kind of carry option or if you're um, just carrying some small stuff like a Leatherman or a water bottle or I mean whatever you might carry on your belt and you don't need the reinforced heavy duty monster you know four pound buckle and you don't need a, a reinforced dual ply crazy one and a half or 1.75 or, or even a two inch belt um, this is again is just a, an example of, of a little idea that I had and I thought I'd share it with you guys and thanks for watching um, leave me some comments or some uh, some questions for other videos if you want and of course if you if you would please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video